Hello guys, welcome to our tutorial of PostgreSQL. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about indexes in PostgreSQL. So, first of all, we should talk about what is an index. So, for this to imagine, I would like you to imagine a phone book. So, a phone book has numbers of a person, a particular person you want to search. The phone books are uh, sorted according to the name. So, what happened if the phone books they were not sorted according to the name and uh, the numbers were uh, randomly placed one after the another so it would be have been a really terrible time for you to look through each and every page for a particular number instead of searching sequentially or instead of searching through an index which is the name for example i want a name that is john so i will directly go to the page where uh, j exists and i will find john from there this is the efficient method so what happened if the phone book was not sorted according to the names so i had to look through each and every page of my phone book to search john and then find the particular number so one does not need to you know tell that this method is pretty inefficient so actually this is a thing that our database does in uh, practical or real life it searches through each and every record in our uh, database and then uh, it fetches or it returns us the particular results so for this we use uh, index so index are basically special lookup tables that uh, the database engines can uh, you know look to speed up the data retrieval so index you could say it is a pointer in a table so it could be only used from a table where uh, data has to be extracted so uh, you can use it in any table that is not a restriction for you but we should use it in a table where uh, the tape where the data is being extracted because uh, it increases the overhead in case of insertion and when you retrieve data from it you i will just prove it to you that the optimizing time or, or and the execution time of the query it reduces so uh, what basically happens in our table is that uh, in a normal case the our database it uh, executes each and every it executes the query in a sequential form so it goes through each and every result in our database and then it returns us the result so i hope the concept of index is clear to you right now it is basically you know creating a special lookup table according to the index so according to the uh, according to a special index that we query each and every time we query regularly for example if you're looking for a name and uh, we particularly search for john or a particular name in our database so we could create indexes for that so always remember this index thing works very efficiently when we are working on uh, larger databases if you're working on very small databases then you could you know generally use a sequential query that would work uh, efficiently on uh, a very small database but when we move towards larger databases we need indexes to you know optimize our uh, query so i'll just show you how to uh, create an index and then use it so uh, i have this table that is dummy so first of all i'll show you how to insert a csv file into your uh, data so that you could use this i will mention the csv files link in the in the information tab on the description tab you can just download the free one from there that has 500 records and you could just import it like this this is the file it looks like this it had many more columns but uh, i had just you know deleted other columns to just get the main information that uh, i need so this was a csv file this is us 500 csv it contains 500 records you could see and uh, then i have made a dummy table it contains several co seven columns that are the same columns that the csv file contains so i'll tell you how to import a csv file just click on dummy or oh, first of all you could see that uh, 
this table is empty and uh, just click on dummy and click on import finally browse to US 500 format would be CSV and go to miscellaneous options we do not need to include the header that is and the delim delimiter is comma so just import it done and now check out columns you see that I have successfully imported the CSV file and each and every data is now a part of the SQL so you could just see this and since this has been uploaded now I will show you a result without indexing first of all so that is select star from dummy so when you run that you see that I get around 500 results and now if I want to you know check out the information regarding the execution of this statement I will just add explain before this and run it and you see that the query plan it gives me as a sequential scan on dummy the cost you could see it is 0 0.00 to 15 so if we consider the maximum limit that is 15 is the cost to run this query now supposedly I do a where clause where uh, first underscore name equals to James so you could see that the cost increases in this case as it has to match each and every result with this name and then return you know the name so you could see the maximum cost here is going up to 16.25 so now we will be creating an uh, index so creating an index is uh, pretty simple that is the simplest thing you could do that is create index index name that is uh, name index on your dummy table and on which column that is the first name so for example that uh, I made an index here which has a name of name index so on the dummy table and it is according to the first name so what happens here is that supposedly I want to query the first name again and again I used to I you know I select the first name of the table or I identify the information according to the first name I identify the user according to the first name I select the first name again and again using where class again and again so uh, I need to optimize this first the selection of first name so what do I do I make an index on the first name of the table and uh, every time I would be selecting a first name the index would be you know looked up in the index table and according to that a match would occur and the results would be you know uh, given back to us so we we'll just run this um, oops it already exists so um, uh, we we'll just change the name you see that it returned successfully and if you check PGRMIN now you will see that uh, I get an index that is name underscore IDE so the name is there and the columns is the first name that it refers to and you can see that dependencies are the first name so you could see that now I have created an index and I will run the same query again that is select star from 
dummy where name equals to James. Oh, it's first name. So you will see that I get the information. Now I will use the explain. And you see that the cost has been reduced from 16.2 something and to 8.29. So you see how efficient this method is when we create an index so when this query was running the database it created an index scan because we had an index made on the first name and according to that it searched and it gave the results because uh, it had special lookup tables this time to search for the name James and you could see yourself the cost it is now 8.29 so index are very special in case of query optimization so thank you for watching this tutorial subscribe for more and stay tuned